Hi everyone. Um, sorry I'm not there today, but uh, what I've done is I've made this video for you guys so uh, you can learn today's lesson. Um, today we're going to do 6.1 rational expressions and the outcome number is a4. Uh, now what a rational expression is, it's simply a fraction that has uh, variables in it and we've got polynomials in the numerator or the denominator or both so here we've got uh, an m there so that's a variable we've got an m plus one in the denominator that's a rational expression another example is uh, one over x so you've got x in the denominator here uh, this one here is uh, x uh, squared minus 4 over 2 so we've got the variable here and this one we've got variables on both the top and the bottom so you've got y squared minus 1 in the numerator y squared plus 2y plus 1 in the denominator so we're gonna have some fun with these now uh, in last uh, the unit we talked about impermissible values or restrictions uh, so what kind of restrictions do we see here when we end up with a variable in the denominator? Well, we never want the denominator to equal zero, right? So we're going to look at possible values that can make the denominator zero. Uh, in this one right here, in this first one, what's going to make the denominator zero? We have to think. Uh, so we're going to say, well, uh, we can't, if suppose m was equal to negative one, that's going to make zero in the denominator. So we don't want m to equal negative one for that one. Uh, in the second example here, we've got one over x. And if x is zero, well, that's going to make it undefined, right? So we say that x cannot be equal to zero. Uh, in this uh, third example here, we've got x squared minus four over two. Well. You don't have a variable in the denominator, so you're okay. You don't have any restrictions on this. Uh, so technically here, we've got x can be any element in the real numbers. So we're okay with that. And then here, this question, uh, it looks a little more complicated. Well, how do we figure out exactly what the values of y are going to create a zero in our denominator? So we need to figure out that. So let's work towards figuring that out and uh, see where it goes. So let's look a little more closely at y squared plus 2y plus 1. And basically we want to determine what's going to make this 0. Okay, so here, what's going to make this 0? Well, uh, a way to do this is to factor. So let's simply just factor what we have here and figure out what the zeros are. Uh, so we've got y, y, 1, 1, and plus. We all should know how to factor this by now, right? Okay, so we end up with an answer of y equals 1. So if we plug in y equals 1 right here, sorry, y equals negative 1, uh, we end up with 1 plus negative 2 plus 1, which is going to make the denominator 0. So we need to set this as our restriction. y cannot equal 0. So that's our restriction for the last question there. All right, so let's look at this example. We want to find the non-permissible values for x squared minus 5x plus 6. And again, that means what is going to make my denominator 0? So we need to solve for the x values that are going to make uh, the denominator 0. So let's do that. And how do we do that? Well, set up your equation here, 5x plus 6. So what's going to make that equal to 0? Well, the way we do that is, again, we factor and we end up with x minus 2, x minus 3 and x is 2 and x is 3. 
But what we're saying here is that we don't want x to be 2, we don't want x to be 3, so that's what's, because that's what's going to create our zero denominator. So those are your non-permissible values. Okay, so here's an example where we need to simplify the rational expression and state the non-permissible values. So the first step is to factor the expression. So we're going to take this, and this is something we already know how to factor, um, and this is what we end up with. So if we factor, we end up with 2x bracket x minus 5 and x plus 3 for the numerator. And then we factor the denominator as well. So we end up with 2 times 2x two x, uh, x minus 5 in a bracket. And that's our factored out rational expression. So we're going to notice something here that we've got an x uh, minus 5 here and an x minus 5 here. Uh, we've got an x here, an x here, a 2, and a 2. So all of those things are going to get reduced out. Uh, but before we do any, any of that, we need to state what the non-permissible values are. So our non-permissible values are x cannot equal, and we get that from the denominator. So right here, we have an x. So what's going to make everything go to zero is if we multiply by a zero. So x cannot equal zero. And also, we need to look at what's in this factor right here, x minus 5. Well, if we put a 5 in here, that's going to make this factor 0, and then everything in the denominator is going to be 0. So x cannot equal 5. All right, so now we've stated our non-permissible values. We can actually do our reducing. So we can reduce this factor with this factor here. We can reduce this factor of x and this factor of x. And then we can factor out one of, or sorry, reduce one of our twos there. Okay? So what we're left with is an x plus 3 in the numerator and a 2 in the denominator. And then we just want to nicely state our non permissible values where x cannot equal 0 and five. All right. Hope you enjoyed that. Um, and now you're ready for your homework. You can find that on textbook page 317. And I'd like you to do numbers one to eight and nine to 14. And I know I could have just said numbers one to 14. Have fun.